Hi, it's Miss Tilson here. Here's a short video just to show you something that I've received this week. It's the latest uh, update of Polyboard 5, 5.01A1. Uh, I wanted to show, absolutely show you this because it has a specific functionality, which is not a functionality, in fact it's something not that we've added, but it's something we've taken off, which is the limit to the time that you can look at a 3D project view. Uh, if you've used the, dem the demo version before, you will know that once you set up a, a bit of a cabinet it's okay, you can look at it in 3D, um, a textured view, but when you set up a project and you look at it in a 3D textured view like here, we, in the demo version the view was limited to a few seconds. This was done of course to limit the functionalities of the demo version, but we've taken it off, we've decided to take it off, so now the demo version is in fact the demo version uh, polyboard 501A1 is completely uh, functional except for manufacturing output and you can visualize your projects in 3D textured views you can do simulations for customers completely free and still use um, the manufacturing files if you use um, my cabinet file service apart from that this new version has a few other functions which are pretty neat too so let's go in, in, into the project window here where we can modify our project. Now I've just made a little video to show you how to use the measuring tools and the different other, the other new features in the project view. Uh, but one of the other features which we've just added to this particular version is a very neat uh, function which is in fact if we take one um, a cabinet this is a cabinet but in fact it is a table but it's actually made, made a table from a cabinet and we have the possibility now of clicking on this button here and using and creating an exploded view now this we have exploded view of the table here which is pretty neat um, if we view around it we can actually turn the exploded view around and get different views of the actual cabinet in its exploded view. Now this is very neat not only because now you can use this view to um, add print it out and add to your workshop documents so it makes the actual document much clearer for the people who are actually making the furniture but you can also use this view for selecting items that are not always evident to select. For instance this division here if I select it I can now work on its, its parameters and I can change its parameters and select it and change its parameters much easier than if everything is assembled. Of course this works. Here we have a table. Let's take this cupboard. Um, if I take the cupboard, click on the cupboard and let's explode that too. And here we have the exploded view of the cupboard and so, which we can now work on as an, 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 an element. So that is a very neat function. And the other function of course I've already been over in other videos but um, those two in each one I just wanted to show them to you. Uh, one last feature which um, people are not really aware of often in Polyboard 5 which is not completely new in the fact that it's been in Polyboard 5 for some time is in fact the if we go into the file menu is the catalogue feature. Now a catalogue feature is not at all spectacular but very very useful if you make uh, in manufacture cabinets on a regular basis from uh, a catalogue of standard cabinets. Now when I say standard cabinets I'm not talking about standard sizes I'm just talking about standard that are in your libraries. Let's have a look how that works. If I ask for a new catalogue Polyboard just doesn't will bring up a, a just a, a list, a table and this table I can fill in from standard cabinets that I have on my hard disk. If I click for instance here, let's add a cabinet. I click here and let's say add a cabinet. I will now look on the hard disk and I will take a cabinet off the hard disk and the cabinet will now appear in the in a list. I can now give the number of quantity the number of cabinets of this type that I want to build. I can now give the actual sizes of the type I want to build. I can give the height and the width and the depth say 500, 600. So I can change simply in this in this table, uh, this spreadsheet in fact, the sizes of the cabinet and I can also change the manufacturing method that I want to use for the cabinet here 
and the, the poly board will be now calculating the price according to these quantities, dimensions, and manufacturing methods. And I will, I will can also here we can add different number of drawers, etc. And the price is automatically calculated. If I add another cabinet, let's add another cabinet, an oven cabinet. Let's open this oven cabinet in here. Let's say the oven cabinet we want one. And let's put the manufacturing method here. And we can see now that the price is actually being added to the total. And I can con continue adding cabinets to my catalogue mode. And Polyboard is automatically calculating the price of the my total project. But it's not only calculating the price of my top total project, it's also calculating all the manufacturing documents. If I look into the print preview, we can see that Polyboard has calculated the cutting lists of the of all the cabinets that are in my spreadsheet, which is really very neat. Um, and I'm actually building a project without doing any design work at all, just pulling in cabinets, giving their sizes, and creating all the all the documents necessary to build it. So this is a very neat function. If you uh, build lots of cabinets, you just want a very quick way to bring in the cabinets, dimension them to a project maybe that you've built around some other presentation software, or that you've just sketched out by hand, or that has come in from somebody who is who you're subcontracting to, who has a um, has given you an order, a list of cabinets, and a list of sizes, and you can design without designing. You just list the cabinets to make the to make your project, and you get all and go straight to manufacturing, getting all the manufacturing documents. Okay, thanks very much for listening. I hope that's been interesting. See you soon.